So we looked at the fluid mechanics of how stinging nettle inject poison. And so this strategy of using a stinger is quite unique in the plant kingdom. It's estimated that around 1% of plants have stingers of some form. Now the nettle family has a unique stinger, which looks a little bit like a pipette like this. So it sits on the leaf and as you touch it, it injects a poison. So this stinger, is really, it's a one cell. It has a mineral reinforced cell wall. So it's, think of it as a glass syringe and it sits on a soft base. First, you have to penetrate the skin. So there's a little cap on the stinger that falls off just as you penetrate. That releases a small amount of the poison, so say a few percent. Then you push it down, so you compress the base here a little bit as you do like this, and that releases a bit more. But the majority of the poison is really released in the bending, which compresses this, there's a little poison reservoir. So you can essentially empty the entire thing out. And you can map the float going out as a function of of how much you bend it. So understanding the mechanics of stinging objects is important for several reasons. So one is to understand uh, phenomena in biology, but there are many technical areas where you use uh, stingers of, of some form. So in medical research, there is the uh, need to inject. And so understanding the mechanics of these systems is important to enable uh, efficient drug delivery.